Oh, yes. This is your... This is Captain Eon speaking. And... I'd like to welcome you... To the continued journey... As the destination towards the destination... Beyond the clouds. Today's leg of the journey... I'm hoping that you will be able to enjoy the views of what I have to share from today's treatment. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. I really think I'm uh, I'm liking that intro, so I'll continue to work on that. And, but I think you should get used to it because uh, I think I found my theme. In any case, I want to start off by posing the question that I had. Or this question arose when... Receiving the treatment from today's, well, (laughs) sometimes thinking too hard, I actually mess up. So let me try that again. When I was receiving the treatment today, a question arose. And my main idea was actually formed out of it. But I want to pose the question first and I think after writing it down I got the answer but I'll still put it out there anyways so in chapter 14 basically from verses 6 to 12 it's actually when Caleb made his request to Joshua for an inheritance, you know, his piece of of the land. And the question came because when he approached Joshua, he started off by talking to him in a way that seemed like he didn't know him. You know, I'll read it. And it says, Then the people of Judah came to Joshua at Gilgal, Well, I guess Caleb was coming on behalf of the tribe of Judah. But in any case, he goes, You know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning you and me. Okay, see, I'm answering my questions right there. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh, Barnea, to spy out the land. And I brought him word again as it was in my heart. But my brothers who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. Yet I wholly followed the Lord my God. See, sometimes I have to actually take it in multiple times. Because I started thinking, was Joshua and Caleb not together? I know there were 12 spies. And it was Joshua and Caleb that came back. Well, out of when all 12 came back, he was one of the two the two that are talking right now that had the good report but then when I was reading it it seemed like Caleb was was talking to Joshua like he didn't know so he was telling him hey this is what I did you didn't hear or you didn't know and then I first thought okay well maybe you know my previous idea of how it went was wrong to give you some insight I thought okay maybe all 12 didn't go out at one time maybe he called the tribes and I realized you know the tribes were large they were lots of people so maybe all the people 
the leaders came one by one and were all sent out to a different part of the land to say, okay, you go look for a place for your tribe. And it went down the line. So maybe Joshua and Caleb never met. And then when they all returned, maybe they returned at different times and had different reports. And out of this whole time and all these people, it was only two of them that when they returned at different times had good reports. So this was my thinking up to this point. Well, that was my thinking while I was reading it. So with this preconceived notion, when he was talking to Joshua in this way, I was like, no, my fault. This was the new idea I got because previously I thought that it was all 12 sent out at the same time and came back. However, I still believe that to be the case. And this new idea I'm kind of pushing to the side because at first I thought maybe it was just a wording thing. Because, you know, a lot of times the way they spoke and, you know, the way they write things in the style is a bit different than how we do things now. So I thought maybe it was just semantics and the way things were written. But I realized, again, I was just overthinking like I always do. Part of um, using the thought from yesterday, part of my digging process, you know, seeking new, new prospects for um, natural resources and precious gems in the word of the Lord. Sometimes I end up digging in the wrong spot for no reason and pulling up fool's gold, which is just me just um not being well versed well i'll just i'll just chalk it up to uh, no big deal it's just part of my discovery process which i'm sharing with you all but i said all of that to bring it back around again to the main idea which is basically the end of what caleb was saying and it was when he Use the term Holy following the Lord his God And In the verse before That's in verse 8 of chapter 14 Verse 7 to me Is The reason why He was able To give a good report Because that was was That was what was in his heart and I believe the good report comes from wholly following the Lord because he was following him with everything and I've realized not just in my own personal walk with the Lord which is no different than all the examples that he's given through the scriptures here being included as well as well as with the saints that I've heard testify over the years that he doesn't owe any he will not be in debt to anyone and so by giving everything to him he responds by returning tenfold hundredfold you name it abundant and running over and so it is my belief and understanding that maybe part of this complete fellowship that he walked and I believe continued to walk with the Lord caused him in the end to be able to claim, well, not only get into the promised land, but receive a claim to the inheritance as well as he was able to been given another 45 years up to that point he was basically an 85 year old man and he spoke about how he was still as strong as he was as a 40 year old and so on and so forth and while I may not currently well, let me not put myself... I don't like to, 
I don't want to make false claims and I don't want to take anything away either. But my hope is that I will truly be wholly following the Lord. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to make his same claim of longevity and sustained strength. And for me, those things are really secondary and afterthought. Because for me, following the Lord with everything and everything is the continuing the continuation the keep goingness of following through the faults and the failures and the everything just using everything he's given to continue following and i believe that is part of the wholeness that he's giving me in order to do so it's like a cycle I give a little and he gives me a lot that helps me to continue giving and then he gives even more and I give back and he gives you more and I continue that by the grace and the mercy of Jesus Christ all the way into glory land. Cap Tion this Sir